Well, hope your Monday is going well. Lee Harder, T and D here. Um, hope you're having a good first week of spring uh, after a weekend when spring began and it felt anything but like spring. Anyway, today's headlines, um, something that is, has been an issue for some time is the railroad crossing on um, Stonewall Jackson Boulevard, and you, you'll know where I'm talking between Glover and Folly Road here, um, over on not far from the gardens uh, down there on Stonewall Jackson. That, that uh, railroad crossing is in bad need of repair, and the city is going to press the railroad to do something about it. And let's hope it happens in pretty short order. It's been um, been been a bad situation for a time. Um, also, with the word railroad in it. Today you got um, some news about Railroad Corner and some surveys and meetings that were held to try to get input on what the city is going to plan to do with Railroad Corner um, and clearly redevelopment uh, with an eye toward um, student um, services, etc. I mean it's a, there's a ready-made um, market right there with students at the two universities. Uh, it certainly makes sense and we'll look forward to following what's going to happen with Railroad Corner. Uh, con so you'll know we're continuing to track the coronavirus in South Carolina. Uh, also with vaccines and testing available, you can get that information at the tnd.com. But uh, in today's report, we found determined that in March, there have been three more deaths from coronavirus in Orangeburg County. Over in sports, the University of South Carolina women advanced in the women's tournament, uh, and uh, South Carolina and Clemson both, both picked up baseball victories on Sunday. And we look forward to um, covering the NCAA tournament online, continuing um, the men's and women's tournament, uh, you can, like I said, you get, you get live updates at our, at our website, the tnd.com, where we encourage you to become a member. Hope you have a good Monday.